run anything new, so. <laughs> you asked me to write you something. Of course, baby, slipping from my parted lips, knowing full well I can't write happy poetry. But I'd try. You look like a Christmas tree, and you've got stars in your eyes. The sound of your laugh as you tilt your head back, dimples like city skylines. Your voice should be smoothed over candy and sold to the masses, should be arrested for stealing my heart. Okay, that sucked, but if this doesn't work out, me and the trash can are forming a pretty tight bond here. I drop my fingers, heavy palm trees like hurricanes, realizing it was hopeless. You were perfect, and I wasn't. I wasn't her. She was what billboards cry for, what commercial breaks long for, the prize at the bottom of the cereal box. You loved her for two years, two years. You don't even know my favorite movie director, favorite record, how I like my coffee. Quentin Tarantino, Elliot Smith, and black as fucking sin, baby, not knowing me well enough to hate me. Think I'm so intelligent? I'm just quoting Einstein and vomit through my teeth. Dumb girl hiding behind star charts and vinyls and raspberry tea. I am so fucking cliche, and cliches never stay. It's been eight months, you'd say. Yeah, well, eight months is like eight seconds. The moment you look at those legs longer than her Bible, big blue, faithful eyes, and mine are just green with jealousy, and they should be shit brown. I don't spend hours in the morning getting ready in little skirts and high heels. I roll my fat ass out of bed and say, hey, it's a sweatpants day. Again. I don't love God and go on missions. I stumble drunk under magic streetlights and sinful cities across oceans. I can't even find on a fucking map. Smoke cigarettes until my lips crack. Chug beer like it was keeping me alive. And while she's at Sunday church choir, I'm doing my seventh Jaeger, begging for somebody to tell me my first name. Slurring thoughts into a phone that somebody clearly should have taken away from me. Smiling wide enough to form horizon lines. Head spinning so fast my butterflies were getting dizzy as you're telling me. I love you, honey bee. Don't you ever leave me. I'm trying to find a way to tell you I'm not your honey bee. I'm a hornet. I'm not just one. I'm the whole fucking nest that I'm sorry I didn't warn you, but she's your fairy tale princess, and I'm on the clearance rack. Right down for less and less and less. One of you to take me home, but no one would you choose. If you put us on a scale for more than one reason, I'd obviously lose. And that's not a halo. I just mistook some radioactive shit for booze. And maybe my body's a little bigger because my life was a little tougher. I had to grow a little stronger. But those are excuses. My mama told me I was selfish. I never knew what she meant until I looked at you and realized that I want all your kisses to myself. I want you to look at me and tell me you miss me and only me. I want to take you to hell with me. I want to be your personal sin. I want to take you to the dark side and throw you the fuck in because I'm going to drag race with Mother Teresa. And I know who's going to fucking win. And while she's sipping on communion wine, I'm checking shit a little harder. And if I throw a bird at the bathroom cleaner, she's as scrub herself with any dirty thought she's ever had. I ain't got long blonde hair flowing down to my dainty little fucking ankles waist skinny enough to fit into promise rings. And your arms are stretched out like desert plains. Long enough to hold us both. She's your sweet little angel, and I'm your little devil only here to keep you warm. Maybe those southern nights aren't enough. You asked me to tell you something. Of course, baby, slipping from my parted lips, knowing full well I love everything you are. I could never be your North Star. She counts her commandments, and I count my bottle caps, but at least now I can write you poetry. Uh -huh.